Hello, Conceal Coalition. Hi, Austin Davis, and thank you very much for sending in your questions. This week's question is awesome. It's, hey, Austin, can I use a knife for self-defense? Well, actually, that's two questions. The first question is, is the knife you're carrying legal? I wanna say, is it legal? Is it legal in federal, state, local, and municipal laws? So make sure you have a legal tool on you. The next question is, can I use a knife for self-defense is, does it meet the standards of self-defense? And I use a little mnemonic called IIRAP. IIRAP tells you the five things you need to make sure in any defensive situation, you are a good guy defender. The first one is, are you innocent? You didn't instigate the fight. This is one of the reasons why we stress de-escalation. So you don't lose your status as an innocent victim. You didn't aggravate or start the situation. The next part of IIRAP is, is this threat immediate? See if it's immediate. That means they're not gonna hurt you last week or next week right now. I like to use the immediacy argument sort of like when you're in a active shooter in a house of worship. Someone comes in and starts shooting up your house of worship. You jump up, pull out your gun, they see you, they throw the gun down, they throw their hands up. That threat is longer immediate. You may wanna shoot them, but you can't shoot them because that threat's not immediate. They start going to pick up the gun, the immediacy open back up. Think of immediacy sort of like a door that opens and closes in different parts of the scenario. So are you innocent? Is it immediate? What is the R in the I, I rap? It is, is your response reasonable? As good people defenders, we don't have to be perfect, but our response has to be reasonable. Who decides what's reasonable? District attorneys, judges, and juries. A in the I, I rap. That's also, is it avoidable? Yes, you may be in a stand your ground. You may be in a castle situation where you're protected, but a lot of juries like it if you just can go in and close your door. If it's a road race situation, you throw up two hands and go, sorry, or you just back off and walk away. And the final one is your response, proportional. So before you pull out a knife on someone who just slapped you or says some harmful, threatening words, this may not be proportional threats involved. So is a knife legal for defense? One, if it's legal for you to carry it. And two, if you have all the elements of self-defense, it could be legal. But remember, the final judgment comes in when the judge, jury, and prosecution says you're free to go. And we also have to remember, is it legal in criminal and civil matters? When it comes to self-defense, it may be legal, it may be lawful, but it might be awful. So think about this. We win every fight we avoid. That's why we wanna focus on situational awareness and de-escalation. So keep those questions coming. And remember, be a guardian always and a warrior when needed.